In this Madden 22 video, we're going to be breaking down an easy little solution to the bunch tight end out of the nickel 335 wide, a defense that I think is actually um, the specifics of what we're going to talk about today rather slept on in terms of a conceptual approach to defending bunch type sets, whether it doesn't even matter if it's bunch type sets, rollout sets where they want to try to roll out with their quarterback. That's a really, really good defense for defending that. It's one of the many reasons why 335 wide is so good. But we're going to talk about a coverage today that you can utilize uh, from it that's going to make it a little bit better. So as you can see here, we're going to put the Cover 4 Show 2 in our audibles. Now, if you're new to the channel, hit the sub button. I upload uh, new videos every single day that can help you become a better Madden player. So if you're watching this and you're looking to become a better Madden player, like I said, just hit that subscribe button. It's completely free to do that. And it just allows you to stay up to date with the latest tips and strategies that we release every single day here on the channel. Now, we're just going to come out in any play. It doesn't really matter to me what play you call here. We're actually going to be audibling down. And the reason why, as you notice, I just subbed in safeties all across the board. That's going to allow me to have better coverage on the field. Also, when you audible down from 335 to 335 wide, it allows you to create uh, better coverages because you can cross man. You can man linebackers up on pretty much anybody on the field because, because they're technically red in terms of the game DNA as a middle linebacker and an outside linebacker, which is what they would be if you were just automatically started in the 335 wide. So with that, we're going to come out in this. And I also want to take a quick second here and mention my Patreon. If you have not signed up for that yet, um, that's basically where you can get all of my Madden 22 offensive and defensive eBooks. I've got 15 of them over there. By signing up for the Patreon, you're going to get access to all of them uh, for just $10 a month. So well, literally super, super cheap. You get access to all that. You get updates. You get private messaging platforms. Uh, we pretty much post on the Patreon two to three times a week. So if you want to get better at the game, join the Patreon. There'll be a link in the description. Now, what we're going to do with this is we're actually going to use our, this guy, uh, Sturds. And then we're going to audible down into the cover four show, show, show two. So if you take a look here, this is basically uh, what the defense looks like. Now, something that's really, really, uh, I think, interesting about this formation and about how this works is if we blitz this guy off of the edge, um, he will actually serve as a pretty decent contain. And the beauty of this is you have these three guys in which you can go ahead and uh, put in zones, okay? So what we're going to do here is we're going to globally blitz our linebackers. We're going to spread our linebackers. I like to go ahead and spread my D-line or shift them. Um, if you want to try shifting them, that's fine too. But you're going to see this is the base look. And then we're going to go ahead and QB contain, obviously, and that's going to help give us these contains off the edge. Now, the beauty of this is you can, you kind of have some decisions to make, honestly. Um, it's really up to you what you want to do with this uh, from this point. This little five-man pressure blitz concept here is actually really, really good. What I like to do with this backside uh, safety right here, Jackson, is typically what I'm going to do with him is I'm actually going to man him up on the number three receiver, which is Scotty Miller. So you see we get this cross-man uh, ability. And then now what I can do is I can easily just drop the defensive end on the right side of the screen into a seam flat. I can drop the defensive tackle or defensive end on the left side of the screen into a bluff blitz. So you see now we've replaced that quarter flat and we replaced that three rec and we have a cross man on the, the, uh, the, the little crosser here. Now your job is primarily going to be to user this, uh, but as you can see, the defense plays really, really good. Notice that I can't, you know, I, I can get out, but honestly, it's really not as easy as it looks because if they just try to roll out from the the jump, you're going to have a pretty good chance at those contains going absolutely nuts. So again, I just want to spread the linebackers, blitz them. And then from there, uh, I can do, honestly, or I'm sorry, I'm in Mike Blitz 3 here. Uh, but I want to be in cover for show 2. I'm going to spread my linebackers, blitz them. And then if you wanted to, if you want to take it just a little bit further, what you can do with this is you could go ahead and put this guy into a seam flat defender uh, zone. And then you could come over here and this guy, you can actually man him up on that number 3 receiver. And what this is going to allow is you're not going to have as good of 
uh, contain on that backside, but most of the time they're not, I mean, most of the time they're gonna roll right and then come back around, so it gives that contain a chance. He's gonna have a one-on-one -on -one more than likely, and then you can just take your defensive tackle and put him in a bluff blitz. So you see, this is kind of what it looks like. You're only blitzing two people, but you've got really, really good coverage on this. And again, if I try to just roll out, notice this contain is there. See how that contain is containing? And then as you can see right here, I can't throw this deep bomb now because I've got that inside quarter. I can't throw the crosser because I got the outside quarter. So really all you've got to really worry about is the little, uh, little underneath slant route uh, to that number three receiver. Another little piece that I want to add on with this is the uh, bomb that is very popular out of this formation. And it looks like that. And um, if they're doing something like that to you, again, you want to contain. You're, you're, you really, it's really important that we try to keep these guys in the pocket. But I'm going to set up the exact coverage I just showed you where we man up that number three receiver. We're going to three wreck or bluff blitz the defensive tackle on this play. And then are going to seam flat or curl flat uh, that defender that defensive end on the right side of the screen. What you're going to notice is the wheel, you've got enough coverage over there to handle that. So you don't have to worry too much about this wheel route. Um, you see you got that seam flat there. And then notice this deep post, you've got coverage there as well. So you're able to hang with the best, probably arguably, uh, the best bomb in this game. At the same time, being able to stop a lot of the quick passing concepts out of the bunch tight end. So with this, this is a great little defense that you can utilize that is going to help neutralize a lot of what people like to do out of the bunch tight end because you get those contains on the outside that are so effective, but you also are able to have a matching concept where you're going to be able to contain the crosser or the deep post or the wheel. So anyways, wanted to post this video, share with you a little bit about how you can slow this formation down. Uh, nickel 335 wide is obviously the meta for a reason. I think a lot of people sleep on the cover four show too. Most people, if they're running 335 wide, they're either running Tampa two, Mike Blitz zero, or they're going to be running some cover uh, Mike Blitz three, cover three Mabel concepts. This cover four show two is probably the most slept on play in this formation because it is a match defense, not a cover four drop defense, which allows us to be very creative. It basically plays like cover four quarters. Uh, so anyways, that being said, guys, if you want to learn more about match defense, I've got an entire 335 wide defensive guide in my Patreon. I've also got an entire ebook devoted to uh, dissecting how match coverages work formation to formation. So if you want to learn all that stuff, it's literally super cheap. Just $10 a month unlocks the whole website uh, or the whole membership over there. So if you want to go sign up for that, there'll be a link in the description of the video and you can go sign up. So if you're still watching, you want to sign up, head on down to the description of the video. Click the link that I put down there and go check out the Patreon membership.